Well, happy Thursday. It's March 14th and we're in Hebrews chapter 4, <sighs> verses 1 through 11. I'm going to read it to you. Here we go. Therefore, since the promise to enter his rest remains, let us beware that none of you be found to have fallen short. For we also have received the good news just as they did. But the message they heard did not benefit them since they were not united with those who heard it in faith. For we who have believed enter the rest in keeping with what he has said. So I swore in my anger they will not enter my rest, even though his works have been finished since the foundation of the world. For somewhere he has spoken about the seventh day in this way, and on the seventh day God rested from all his works. Again, in that passage he says they will never enter my rest. Therefore, since it remains for some to enter it, and those who formerly received the good news did not enter because of disobedience, he again specifies a certain day, today. He specified this speaking through David after such a long time. Today, if you hear his voice, do not harden your hearts. For if Joshua had given them rest, God would not have spoken later about another day. Therefore, a Sabbath rest remains for God's people. For the person who has entered his rest has rested from his own works just as God did from his. Let us then make every effort to enter that rest so that no one will fall into the same pattern of disobedience. A finished rest. I like it that God, through these verses, reveals God rested from his work of creation. God rested from all his works. It was done. Creation was done. God rested and let creation move forward. Man failed and God began this, this uh, redemptive plan that would result in salvation. It results in our salvation. It resulted in my salvation. Salvation is our restoration of relationship with God. And, and we receive it because of the finished work of Jesus, the Christ. Jesus completed the work of redemption. And then he sat down at the right hand of majesty as, as we read earlier in Hebrews. Jesus rested from his work. We enjoy his rest. We have rest in him. Verse 11, make it our effort to enter rest. Folks, stop working to earn the relationship. Live the relationship. Walk with Jesus. Talk with Jesus. Enjoy hanging out with Jesus. It's when we ignore the relationship and we seek our own way that we fall into disobedience. Is your life a testimony of rest and obedience? You see, our obedience is the evidence <laughs> of our rest. See, this, this, this seems like a good place, quite honestly, to, to emphasize once again. It's a good thing to spend time with God. It's a good thing to spend time in the Word. It's a good thing to spend time in prayer. It's a good thing to spend time in worship. It's a good thing to spend time telling other people about Jesus. And it's a good thing to spend time serving others. See, these are our disciplines. We've been talking about these things for over a year now. Let's walk the rest. Let's walk in obedience. Let's live out our relationship in Christ. <laughs> See you tomorrow.